Hi friends, so we're in the studio with Grief. You might recognise them from the first Metal to the Masses video that we did. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Hi, I'm Zach, I'm the vocalist. Hi, I'm Glenn, and I play guitar. Stu, I play drums. I'm Josh, I play bass. Uh, and I'm Sam, I play guitar. Yeah, we're in the studio with these guys today, they're going to be recording some new stuff. Do you want to tell everyone a little bit about your new songs coming out? Uh, yeah, we've got two new songs uh, that we're recording right now. Um, one's called Scafism, and the other one is called Groaning Applause. So, these new songs that you're bringing out, what was the inspiration behind them? Scafism is... Um, a medieval act where they used to force feed someone with her milk, put them in a boat, put another boat on top, cut a hole, and then push it out into the water, and then let flies and maggots like eat them. And then sometimes they bring them back in, force more for honey and fun, and then send them back out. Form of punishment, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and it, that's a little boat trip. So, uh, yeah, it's just it's just a gruesome song. So uh, yeah, it's about being at the lowest point in your life, where and then someone kicking you when you're down, basically. And then it's kind of like, well, I've got nothing left to lose, so you're coming down with me, basically. Was my headspace at the time when I wrote it. Um, I took some inspiration off like sort of like Slipknot, um, Suicide Boys, and just kind of mush the two together, as you'll hear when it when it comes out. And then Groaning Applause is another gruesome song. They're both gruesome. Um, again, I wrote this song because... Oh, I'm not going to get too much into it. Uh, because someone tried to really do me over. And um, so I wrote the song in reply to Groaning Applause. I was watching a movie. Um, what movie was it? Best of the Best 2. When they're fighting. And uh, when the guy kills the other guy, all of the... All of the crowd kind of go, eh, but they're loving it. It's like entertaining, and it's a groaning dot applause. And I thought that was really cool. One of the lines is, God forgive me um, for praying for your grave. And it's kind of having that battle of where it's like, I don't want to think this, but because of how much you've hurt me, I'm thinking this. Yeah, and obviously, it's one of them, and you write songs about it, you don't do it. That's why I was quite excited to do this video, because people just hear the songs and go, oh yeah, that's a good song, but you'll find, especially in this genre of music, a lot of the stuff, there's so much meaning behind it, and for some people it might just seem like screaming into a microphone, but yeah. when you actually get to it, like, there's always meaning behind it, which is really nice to yeah. hear. Yeah, I mean, I, I suffer badly with my mental health, and have done over the years, and it's kind of like... I'm not afraid to say, I'm not afraid to say I've got OCD um, and it's kind of like the songs are gruesome and they're angry and the topics are mean or whatever and nasty but that's kind of my way of getting it out of yeah. therapy because it's like there's nothing wrong with, and I had to go to therapy to realise that there's nothing wrong with being human and feeling these feelings. It's, um, what's that saying, evilness stops in your mind. Like you stop at your control of your life, you know what I mean? But it's, a, it's definitely a way of, of releasing that negativity. Because um, in my day-to-day -day life, I'm happy and bubbly. I've, you know, got, I've got kids and stuff like that. But there's always that side of, you know, sort of dark mentality and having mental health problems and stuff like that. So, yeah, this, this is the medicine, basically. Now, I briefly mentioned in a video the other day that like, oh, I was filming a bit on my own and I was like, oh, this is a bit uncomfortable because I've got anxiety and stuff. And I just very briefly mentioned it, didn't think anything of it. And so many people put in the comments like, thank you for mentioning it. Like, yeah. thank you for bringing it mm -hmm. up. Thanks for talking about it. Because I think so many people are in the same boat with it and yeah. so many people resonate with it. So yeah. 
you know, I'm sure like a lot of people will feel the same way that you do. Yeah, and definitely. It, what, it's what makes people gel with your music as well, yeah. when it's relatable and they can go, do you know what, yeah, I get how yeah. you're feeling, because yeah. I felt like yeah. that as well. Exactly, yeah. How are you guys feeling about the new album? Yeah, tired. pretty excited, I think. Yeah, tired. Yeah, tired. Tired. tired is the key word. Very tired. tired. The last four days, so. Yeah, 10 till 7 every day is it's a long, long four days. So very it's tired. Days. It's needed, man, because you get a proper grip of what the song's doing and it just makes you tired for it, isn't it? So yeah. it's good yeah. to do, but it is a stint. But. It's not a holiday, is it? <laughs> yeah, no. The week's leading up, I think it's going to be a holiday. But then get here, it's like, all right, okay. 10 till 7, you need to knuckle down, get it finished. So. Yeah. I'm really happy with how it sounds, but mm. it sounds absolutely amazing. And Joe, we should give Joe a bit of work, man, because he's, yeah. he's the man. Right? Yeah. yeah, Joe Clayton, no studio, yeah. Cheatham Hill, Manchester, absolute legend. Obviously, you're bringing out two new songs now. Yep. Um, what else have you got planned for the rest of the year? Like gigs, songs, music, anything that you want to share with everyone? Yeah, I think we're going to try and get back in the studio again sort of end of, end of this year and do two more because... It just took us so long to get back in and we've only released two tracks and it's kind of like um it's yeah yeah it's 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 like it's early days for us so it's sort of like we're in that position now where people are starting to ask us to do gigs and um it's it's really nice and it's exciting so we've got quite a few gigs coming up we've got melts and masses rebellion uh, we've got satan's hollow a couple of times yeah um so we have just put a post out of them all. I can't even think yeah, where else. Yeah. EVG is Liverpool. Yeah. Oh, we're playing with um, Black, Coast. Black Coast. Have you heard Black Coast? I have, really yeah. Good. They're sick, so aren't good. They? So we're absolutely buzzing yeah. to. Like you were saying, though, it's like it's, when we first started it, we were getting, like having to ask people for gig. And now it's like we don't do that anymore. They're coming to us and asking us for gig. Which is just like amazing. Like it's so nice to, to be in that position. And because we've only put two tracks out and stuff, and it's like these like they were sort of written as I joined and then obviously I just wrote the lyrics and the vocal uh, did the vocals but then these have got, kind of been marinating for like a good year year and a half isn't it so this is definitely like we're really excited to release them because I think it's we found definitely like got our sound and stuff like that so yeah so we'll be putting out two of the tracks we're going to try and do a music video for one might just do it ourselves <laughs> <laughs> do a lyric video for Scafism and then we definitely want to do a proper one for Grown in Applause. And uh, yeah, that's it. Just just keep keep going. Do as many gigs as we as we can really in it in our crazy lives. Do you know what might be mad? Do you know what? Like you're saying like oh people are asking us to do gigs. You're in Metal to the Masses at the minute, so imagine if you get to play Bloodstock. Yeah, like I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. I mean we we sort of like I think as a band we're like humble enough to kind of be like if someone beats us it's like or not beats us but you know like gets through or whatever it's just there's so many good bands in it and it's like we well, of course we want yeah of course we want to get through but like some of these bands have been going like years and we're like like I say we're still sort of early days so it's like just to be part of it is is amazing and yeah and we've had so many like kind words off like um off like the promoters and stuff and it's just like yeah it's just been like such a cool experience you know what i mean i think we've all been bands in the past but this is like you know we're a bit older wiser uglier and it's just like it just is it's nice yeah it's good i definitely agree because we've been doing metals the masses all the way from heat one with you guys all the way through to like the most recent one and we're going all the way with it and every single week, and I've said this in all the videos, first band plays and you're like, oh, they're sick. And then the second band plays, oh, they're sick. And then literally at the end of it, you're like, who the hell Who is going to win yeah. this? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. like, I was looking at like the quarterfinals and stuff because of the way they've categorised it. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I literally couldn't even, I can't even give you a guess of who yeah. might even win it yeah. at this point. It's like, mad, isn't it? Yeah, literally, yeah. like, I was saying as well, like, I'm so glad we don't get a say in it and yeah. we don't have to vote or oh, anything, judge yeah. or anything. We yeah. don't have to do any of that. We just film it. And I was like, thank God, because I don't think I'd be able to choose, yeah. to be honest. No. But, yeah, is there anything else you want to talk about while we're here? Um, I've had this pain on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, guys, that was grief for you. Make sure you go check them out. We'll leave all our socials down below. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.